Good morning, Quadcopter101 here with another flight of the X5SW. Now, I've been noticing a problem with this quadcopter in that this transmitter, I believe, is so powerful that it's uh, sometimes causing interference from the signal from the transmitter. So for today, and I was experiencing dropouts at about 60 meters. Um, I was getting max range of about 60 meters, 67 meters, 70 meters with this uh, transmitter on here. Uh, operating. I want to see if I can get improved range. Uh, I was getting dropouts when I get close to the uh, uh, stand over there, the uh, viewer stand, and any further past that, you know, I would the quadcopter would uh, start to drop from the sky. Today I want to see if this corrects the problem by simply unplugging the camera and seeing if I can get better range on this quadcopter, hopefully to the edge of the field, that's a hundred meters, uh, without the camera operating. So let's go for a flight and just see. Uh, flight of the X5SW without its camera plugged, not operating in um, headless mode, or not operating uh, in what FPV. Okay, I'm gonna fly it. Keep it at a relatively safe altitude below the trees here. Can I make it to the edge of the field? And yes, made it to the edge of the field and coming back. So yes, that um, transmitter on this thing, for those of you who start experiencing dropouts, that's your problem. The transmitter on this is uh, overpowering it. I'm going to high here. Overpowering the reception from the uh, controller. A nice gentle flyer of the X5SW. Let's bring it in a little closer so you can see that. We'll go to the edge of the field again. See if I experience any dropouts. Yeah, the Wi-Fi transmitter. It's very powerful on this quad cup. Yeah, I'm at the edge of the field again. Um, it provides pretty good signal from the quadcopter to your uh, Android phone, but with being in a powerful transmitter like that, <laughs> it's operating at the same frequency as its Wi-Fi, you know, 2.4 gigahertz as your transmitter from your, or the controller of your quadcopter. So yeah, when you're using FPV with this quadcopter, I'm way out there now, it is, it's just inevitable you're going to lose range. That seems to be the range right there, 100 meters. I had a little drop out right there, right at 100 meters without the transmitter on. But that's significantly reduced, again, if you got the transmitter operating. Okay, that's all I wanted to do today. <laughs> is demonstrate that. Also, let's demonstrate how stable a flyer it is. Very stable. For Steve and others out there who doubt the stability of these quadcopters. There you go. A little forward pitch, or forward trim. A little left trim. And there we go. Stable flyer. X5 SW. Let's go to the edge of the field again. Yeah. <laughs> I had some serious crashes with that uh, transmitter operating with this quadcopter because uh, I like to fly high. And once this thing loses bind of the transmitter, you have to do a manual uh, up down on the throttle to rebind it. So that's that's an issue with this quadcopter. It's, I like it. I like the FPV. The FPV is very uh, strong, very powerful signal. But again, because of that, it's just uh, let me flip. I know no power left for flipping. <laughs> again, oh, there's some ravens up there. Let's go bug the ravens. Hello, Mr. Raven. Hello. They don't seem to care. <laughs> they don't care. Why don't you care, Mr. Raven? 
Okay. I don't care today. Okay, let's land it. It proved my point that the Wi-Fi transmission from this quadcopter is um, just a little bit too much. Well, flying this quadcopter, most people, if you're going to fly this in FPV mode with your camera plugged in, keep it within 60 meters. Um, you go outside of 60 meters, you're going to get dropouts, and that's due to the uh, inter interference caused by this camera. Okay, this quadcopter 101 with today's science lesson, quadcopter 101, signing out.